your favorite superstars celebrate Brooks and Dunn's 20 years of number one hits. 20 years. To me, that's like a lifetime. <laughs> Join Taylor Swift, Tim McGraw, Carrie Underwood, Lady Annabellum, Faith Hill, Keith Urban, Jennifer Hudson, Rascal Flatts, Sugarland, Brad Paisley. Thanks for teaching me everything I know and some things I wish I could forget. Miranda Lambert, Kenny Chesney, Reba McIntyre, Matthew McConaughey, Jason Aldean, Darius Rucker, and George Strait. Before they hit the road for their solo careers, a concert event to celebrate Brooks and Dunn, the last rodeo. Welcome to the MTM Grand in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Swift. Welcome to a very special night. We're here to honor the greatest country duo of all time before they each begin the next stage of their careers. After 20 years together. Mm, 20 years. To me, that's like, it's like a lifetime. <laughs> and right now, I'd like to invite them to come out and take their seats of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, Kix Brooks and Ronnie Dunn. memories of Kix and Ronnie from a couple years ago when I was opening up for Brooks and Dunn at a festival and I got word that Kix and Ronnie wanted to see me and it was very important. I walked into the dressing room and Ronnie says, you can sit down. And I did and I said, do you guys wanted to talk to me? And Ronnie goes, yes, I'd like to show you my Taylor Swift impression. It looks something like this. I, I have a Taylor Swift impression. This, I was doing it backstage while you were on, uh, on stage up there okay. a minute ago, but I don't think I have it now, right? Can like... we see it? <laughs> yeah, is that it? Do your hands. Yeah. Do your hands. You have, no, you have no idea how important that moment was, because in 20 years, that's the only time I've ever seen him mess his hair up. Yes! <laughs> There's an all-star lineup of your friends waiting in the wings to sing some of your greatest hits, and I know I'm looking forward to singing my favorite Brooks and Dunn song. I'd like to welcome to the stage six-time Academy of Country Music Award winner, Keith Urban. Well, this is a huge honor for me too. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. Uh, back in 1997, we were playing a, uh, a little place called Jack's Guitar Bar, which is a um, very small, funky little shag pile, beer soaked, hole in the wall joint. And Kix had heard about our band and uh, thought he'd come and check us out. And uh, him and Bar you, you and Barbara, I think, had been at a pretty fancy dinner, so they were dressed to the nines. And they show up about halfway through our set, and uh, they walk in, and there's like one seat left. Place only holds, you know, 20 people. And uh, <laughs> so he gives Barbara the chair, and he sits down on this filthy shag pile, beer soaked carpet right in front of us, and stayed there for the whole set, and uh, came up afterwards and said, uh, love to take you guys out on tour with us. And, I thought he was completely hammered, and, uh... I was. He was, yeah. And, <laughs> he, he, sure enough, uh, true to his word, which Kix really is, man, he called us up and they took us out, and, uh, we did about four or five shows opening for them, and it was just such a, a huge honor for us to do that. But we used to do a lot of cover songs at the end of our set, and one of the songs we used to do is this one we're going to play for you right now. Yeah. 
Awesome. My fondest memory is just from, I think, last summer or the summer before, um, we had a, one of those big festivals, and we were all on it, and it was uh, Kelly Pickler and Blake Shelton and myself and y'all and tons of other acts, and um, I remember it was late, and we get a knock at the door, and they're like, Kicks and Ronnie are partying. Y'all want to come? We're like, really? So Kelly and Blake and I were on my bus just sitting there bored, and we went over, and uh, we were, we were just excited to be there because we're all new and we're just, we're all in all of you guys. And uh, Kelly got a hold of the iPod, which is bad. <laughs> and she started playing I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry. <laughs> and I remember I was up on the couch and I think you were on the couch with me, Kicks. And they were like headbanging, rocking out to yeah. Katy Perry. And I was like, Brooks and Dunn likes Katy Perry? This rocks. Miranda, it was Miranda. so fun. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I just, brief interruption. We were standing on the couch together. Oh, yeah. Anyway. And, and you and Kelly are great dancers, by the way. Blake, not so much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, thank you for being so kind to me. I mean, <laughs> anyway, thank you for being so sweet. And so uh, tonight I chose the next song because it reminds me of where I'm from. Uh oh. From the country. Uh -oh. And you're too good old country boys, too. It's Hillbilly Dog. Everywhere you look, all you 
Robert Strait picks a surprise Brooks and Dunn song. And Taylor Swift returns to sing only CBS. for me to be here. People ask me all the time, who do I listen to? And uh, answer them with three short words, Brooks and Dunn. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> so on one hand, it's easy for me to choose a song to perform tonight because I know most of your hits by heart. And uh, on the other hand, it's very difficult because there's so many to pick from. But I had to decide, and I think I'm pretty lucky because I ended up with one of the most memorable Brooks and Dunn songs. I'm gonna do a little boot scooting boogie. It's good to be here, man. Proud to have you, man. I, uh, true, I talked to uh, the producers before we came here, and um, I was under the impression that they wanted me to do a version of one of y'all's songs, right? 
True story, right? They started talking about it. I'm going, all right, I could really butcher a classic like a Red Dirt Road. <laughs> and then I got kind of excited about going, I could hone my rapping skills on the hillbilly dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that was all kind of BS, and it turned out to be I was supposed to find the singer, pick out the man who could come up here and do justice to one of your tunes. That's so before wrong. we get started, I want to let you know we, I did find somebody. Behind his ears, a little bit wet. All right, he hadn't been doing it for near as long as you two have. Well, let's give him, a, give him a break. Good old country welcome. Give the kid a chance. Would everybody welcome Kenny Chesney. It's any secret. I've I've really looked up to these guys for for many years, and I I really don't think that I would have ever been able to approach my live show and the way we do it out there every year if it hadn't been for these guys paving the way. Not just for me, but for a lot of the people out here sitting in the audience. These guys were out on the road with me for a little while, and uh, they didn't do this next song in their show, so I decided to do it in mine. If you got you know if we can kind of recreate what we did. A couple of nights in those stadiums, guys, I'd really appreciate it. So, come on, if you don't mind. I'm still hurting from the last time You walked on this heart of mine I can't find much to believe Let me down so many times Heaven knows how much I love you But I'm tired of holding on You better kiss me You're gonna miss me Chance we're gonna make it. If I'm the only one who's tried. No, I'm running out of reason. We're running out of time. Someday.
Plus, Reba McIntyre, only CBS. love stories of how two people meet have interesting beginnings and these two are, are no exception um, they met and fell in love thanks to somebody that I can say that right shut up <laughs> thanks to somebody that we all love on this stage a man named uh, named Tim Dubois who uh, was the, the head of Arista Records and uh, we are 20 years later I was a mere two years old at the time and <laughs> I am so, uh, so pleased to be honoring two of my heroes. I love you guys. Thanks for taking me out on the road, teaching me everything I know, and <laughs> some things I wish I could forget. <laughs> Here it is, working on my next broken heart. tour with Brooks and Dunn, Ronnie invited us to come and hang out on his bus, which, just so you know, has a better sound system than any of our houses. <laughs> and at the time, their song Believe was just hitting it really big. Oh, no. Now, I have a tattoo on my left wrist that says Believe, and Ronnie was absolutely convinced that I got the tattoo because of the song, even though I had it long before the song was written. Yeah. But not to fear, what Ronnie doesn't know is that I do have a tattoo that I got just for him. That is the ugliest tattoo I have ever seen. Uh -huh. oh, that's good. And I also say, don't worry, Taylor Swift, eat your heart out, because I can make him shake his hair every day, baby. And don't worry, yeah, don't worry, kids. Yeah, yeah. I got one for 
you too, baby, but it's just in a place we can't show on family television. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer and I write all of our own material, so it was really important to us that we do a song that y'all wrote together. And uh, Ronnie started writing this one apparently on a cocktail napkin and handed it to Kix to finish. We've done that. <laughs> <laughs> that napkin absolutely should be in the Country Music Hall of Fame. This is Red Dirt Road.
Taylor Swift, Reba McIntyre, followed by Lady Antebellum and Jennifer Hudson, only CBS. He won an ACM award for top new male vocalist. Here's Jason Aldean. Back when I was uh, playing the clubs in Georgia, played a lot of Brooks and Dunn songs, and this one right here was one of my favorites. It's called How Long Gone. seven times. Welcome an Entertainer of the Year winner, Reba McIntyre. You paid them to do that, didn't you? Thank you all very much. Well, Ronnie and Kix, you know I love you from the bottom of my heart. We've gotten to do lots of fun things together. And I've been sitting out there listening to all the stories and the pranks and stuff you guys have pulled. And every time I think of a story, I think that's going to get one of us in trouble. So I just kind of <laughs> decided not to tell the stories. So instead, I'm going to do a song tonight that was written by Kix and Ronnie with Bob DePiro. Kix and Ronnie were performing at a fair, and behind the stage there was this huge wheat field stretching as far as the eye could see. And that inspired them to write an adventure about a girl who hooks up with a football player. There's more to the story, but instead of talking about it, I'm going to sing it to you. It's called Indian Summer.
tonight who can say that I've been listening to Brooks and Dunn my entire life. <laughs> you see, on the day I was born, their seventh single made its debut on the chart, and they already had four number one songs. Our next performer comes pretty close to making the same claim. She was only one year old when Brooks and Dunn had their first hit, but that didn't stop her from growing up to become one of their biggest fans. Please welcome Taylor Swift! <laughs> Something for me The way you kiss The way you cry The way you move When you walk by There ain't nothing about you That don't do something for me Something I could never do Never need 
They took home five ACM awards this year, including top vocal group. Welcome, Lady Antebellum. When I was growing up, Brooks and Dunn songs were the soundtrack of my childhood. These guys have been a huge inspiration to the three of us, and uh, they're a great example of how far you can take this thing. Growing up, both of my parents were in Reba McIntyre's band, and as you know, Reba, Kix, and Ronnie toured together for many years. So if you ever saw a little girl sitting on a road case at front of house watching Kix, Ronnie, and Reba perform every night, that was me. I saw them do it dozens and dozens of times. And so we're going to try our very best to recreate a song that's one of my favorites that I've seen them perform so many times. It's If You See Him, If You See Her. living poet Dr. Maya Angelou is very special and a special fan of Brooks and Dunn. 
She admires many of their songs, but there's one in particular she loves for its poetic power, Believe. Let's hear what she has to say. Brooks and Dunn are brilliant. They, in their whole body of work, they've shown how much they care about the human condition. Whether they are singing something as wild as play something country or believe. You tell me that there's more to life than just what I can see. The song is a great folk song. It is a poem, and it talks about the dreams we have. And now, from a great poetic voice to a great singing voice with Believe, here's my friend, the beautiful Jennifer Hudson. the street where I grew up, my mama would send me over the nights. We struck a friendship up, spent a few long nights out on his old porch way. Said he was in a war in the Navy, lost his wife. Lost his baby, broke down and I asked the war township How you keep from going crazy? He said, oh, I see my wife and son in just a little while I asked him what it meant He looked at me and smiled and said, I praise my head
When we return, entertainer of the year, Gary Underwood. Darius Rucker rocks, and later, a once-in-a-lifetime finale. Only CBS. She's taken home 10 ACM awards and was named Entertainer of the Year. Here is Carrie Underwood. I remember the day that I discovered, uh, probably stole is the better word, one of my sister's Brooks and Dunn tapes. I actually made up dances to some of the songs, none of which I will be demonstrating right now, and you're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> The point is, you guys have been with us for so long, and you have helped shape so many of us into artists, and you've made so many people fall in love with country music. Thank you for 20 years. Um, the song that I'm gonna do now is one that I've been singing since I was eight years old. And uh, you may know it, you may have heard of it. It's called Neon Moon.
I just want to tell a quick story. When I started this whole country thing, I didn't know who was going to let me play or anything. And these guys took me to Miami, Oklahoma, on my first show. And I, it was just a, it was a great thing. But, uh, you know, so when they asked me to do the show, I knew the song I wanted to do. There was no doubt in my mind because the one thing I love about them is they can always put a little rock and roll into what they do. So it's called Hard Working Man. Flats with a classic vocal, Faith Hill, then Tim McGraw, plus an all-star finale, only CBS. They've taken home the top vocal group trophy eight years in a row. Here's Rascal Flats. You know, our first gig with, uh, with Brooks and Dunn was the Neon Circus and Wild West show, and you know, they had fire eaters and emus and llamas. Yeah, Ronnie and Kip kept following us around, you know, and they kept sneaking up behind us taking all these photos during our tour. <laughs> We'd be here anyway tonight because we love them, even if they didn't have those photos to blackmail us with. True. <laughs> On a serious note, the song we're performing tonight was one hot hit in 2005. Kicks. he says it's one of the most heartfelt songs I've ever done. We're going to sing it right now. It's called It's Getting Better All the Time.
It's getting better all the time Yeah, I got to work on time again this morning This old job is all that Brooks and Dunn have set the standard for being practical jokers. We were on tour in Canada a long time ago. <laughs> yeah! It was the night before our last show. I was exhausted. I was ready for some sleep. Um, I pulled back my covers, took myself into bed, and there it was. A slimy eel defrosting in my sheets. All I could think was, let the games begin. <laughs> the next day, after our final show, we were crossing the border back into the U.S. I don't know how it happened. I really don't. But Ronnie and Kix were pulled into the immigration office, <laughs> where the police conducted a strip search. <laughs> Needless to say, that was the last time that they asked me to open for them. <laughs> um, thank you so much for 20 years of solid, great country music. With serious attitude, tonight it's time for the long goodbye. Set 
It's eel, eel from Faith. <laughs> Next, Tim McGraw sings a huge number one hit. And still to come, Ronnie and Kicks perform a star-studded closing number, only CBS. I remember hearing Brooks and Dunn on the radio back in 1991, and I got really excited because I knew they were the new direction of country music. And I don't have any great stories to tell, and I never got to tour with you guys. I'm just an old boy from Louisiana who was lucky enough to be a country singer during the era of the greatest duo that's ever sang a song. So I'm going to take you way back and do... Uh, that ain't no way to go. It's stick a letter across the mirror this morning. Said goodbye, baby. You left without warning. Like a thief in the night. You ran away with my heart. A bad dream. Always thought we had a good thing. Never once let on we were falling apart. That ain't no way to go. Girl, it just ain't right. Don't you think that I deserve to hear you 
Say goodbye as a duo. Then an all-star finale you will never forget. Only CBS. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Reba McIntyre. Guys, would you please join me on stage over here? Pretty please. And I, I just got to read off some stuff about y'all. It's very impressive, so hang on just a second. As the best-selling duo in the history of country music, with 23 number one songs and sales of over 30 million records, as the most honored performers in the history of the ACM Awards, with an amazing 27 awards, including three Entertainer of the Year awards, it is my great pleasure to present you with the Academy of Country Music's Milestone Award. feel like we ever take enough time to really sincerely let let you see us feel how appreciative we are of the fans uh, I, everybody says it and and I don't know I don't I mean, I'm sure everybody feels it but it's like it, it, it really it's that's that's it. it's bottom line you know it's it's all about a song and walking up there and, and hearing you do this it's just kind of a thank you thanks we we uh, have been uh, blessed with with uh, winning more of these than uh, we ever could have thought we might have and I really don't get to say this enough but I have been blessed with getting to stand on stage every night with one of the greatest country music singers that ever was my good partner Ronnie Brown. Thank you. God bless y'all for buying us a ticket to life. Since I'm probably the performer who, in this room, who's known you guys longer than anyone else, and I said performer, you know, I think I'm entitled to make a request. 
Would y'all please play something country? <laughs> Touch anything. CSI is on its way next here on CBS. Monday. I do not want you hanging out with my ex-fiance. Is Alan after Charlie's ex? I did buy her a lovely scarf. <laughs> You'll support your weight from a shower rod? Two and a half men season finale. Then. We've got power to the laser. America's favorite geeks have something really big planned for their season finale. We're going to blow up the moon. It's a night of season finales Monday. Only CBS. I'm the man who murdered my father. The season finale. Just make sure this package is delivered. You might as well put a bullet in my head. Of TV's number one drama. It might be useful to kill everyone you ever met. Something unspeakably bad is going down. We'll break every rule in the book. You sneaking around it doesn't work for me. Well, maybe I shouldn't work for you. NCIS season finale Tuesday. Criminal Minds. Wednesday.